All right guys, so this is what my skin is looking like after my full face is done. I only put a little bit of highlight here. So the rest of the glow you see is from the foundation. Yes, I did set it. However, still glowy, thus pro glow. Um, but I will be checking in with you later. It is 7.25 and I gotta get going. So I'll see you guys later. All right guys, so it is 12.40 which means I've had my foundation on. If I can do math for, I don't remember. What time do I have? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five hours, five hours and 40 minutes. And this is what my face is looking like. Disregard the smile creasing. That happens with any foundation. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so this is, my natural lighting inside of my apartment check-in. It's really cloudy out, so this is as good as it's gonna get, but uh, still looking pretty glowy if I do say so myself. Again, highlight here, highlight here, but nowhere else on my face. So this is what it's looking like. All right, you guys, it is seven o'clock. Uh, I still have to do laundry, give my dog a bath, and uh, edit a video. So I will do my final check-in at some point, but we're, we're running on 12 hours strong here. This is a typical normal day for me. I don't take off my makeup right now anyway. So I'll see you later. Hello, beautiful people. It is now 10 o'clock, which means that I have had my makeup on for 15 hours, 15. I'm tired, I'm ready to go to sleep. So we're gonna be looking at the foundation. I'm going based off of what it says on the back of that foundation as for the claims. And we're gonna see if they're, they're true. So it says that it's a radiant finish. I do agree with that. Like I said a couple times before, I only have highlight here and here. The rest of the glow you see on my face is from the foundation itself. I did set it, however, it's still pretty glowy so i would say radiant i agree with that uh wear up to 24 hours i'm not i'm not trying that because like i said i'm tired and i want to sleep and i want to take off my makeup now so 15 hours i'll give it 15 hours so pretty long wearing so i'll, I'll give it the 24 hours i'm not going to try it but i think it looks pretty good uh coverage medium I don't have that much to cover on my face. Um, so I'll, I'll give it medium, it's not full coverage. I've used a couple full coverage foundations that are like, spackle, full coverage. This is not it, this is very lightweight, which is the next claim, it has the texture of an air light, or it claims to have an air light texture, which I also agree with. And it's a medium consistency. Now it comes in 12 shades i have the last shade 212 coco which is not acceptable that this is the last shade i am nowhere near the last shade of anything especially not dark skinned women so you definitely need to expand just gonna expand but overall i i like the foundation it's a drugstore foundation it's only 10 or 11 dollars and at ulta i know and sometimes Walgreens, they're usually having a buy one, get one 50% off sale. I didn't use that when I got that because I just wanted to try it and I wasn't going to buy two if I didn't like it, you know, type deal. But I would definitely go buy it again and I would definitely stock up on it because it has SPF in it so I can use it on a daily basis. SPF, speaking of which, no flashback. I've taken a couple flash pictures and I'll take another one and try and insert it somewhere when I figure out how to do that. Um, but I will take a picture of it uh, unset and set so you can see what it looks like in regards to flashback. Um, but I'd say if it lasts this long on my skin, I definitely recommend it. I work at a daycare with kids for eight hours a day um running around with them chasing them around the classroom running around outside with them and i still look pretty good pretty darn good if i do say so myself so 
definitely highly recommend. I have not tried the Pro Map, so I can't tell you a comparison between the two, but this one's really good if you have dry skin like I do. So definitely recommend. Definitely try it out if you can find a shade. I didn't think this shade was gonna work, especially if you see in the demo when I put it on, it looks hecka hecka light, but because it's only medium coverage, once you blend it out, it's like, yeah, right, I'll give it to you. It does have one fluid ounce, which is normal. It comes in a little squeezy tube, which is good for travel. So highly recommend, definitely dry skin approved, definitely D Chanel approved. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces!